Well, most people leave it too late before they go and sell. They, uh, but they think about selling their business. They leave it just too late. And um, before they know it, you know, they're 65, oh, I better think about this. And they underestimate the length of time that it takes if you go through the traditional route, it can take five, six, seven years, or it might just never sell. You might be, you know, one of the lucky ones, the one in 10 that can sell it and sell it quickly, but the chances are you're going to have to sit and wait and go through the process. Now, the, so a seller would, you know, tends to leave it too late. They underestimate the length of time it takes to sell it. They under, underestimate the effort involved in selling it as a, as a buyer our expectations on information normally from, depends on the size of the business that isn't there so they have to go back and find all that information so that's one of the that's one of the issues the other issues are they may be uh, anticipated it was going to be a, a legacy business a family legacy business the kids would take it but look you know the, the reality is only 70 percent of businesses go from uh, the first generation to second generation fail so only 30% from first generation. So if I'm selling my, uh, keep my business, pass it on to my son, there's only 30% uh, chance that's going to succeed. If you go down to his son or my grandson, there's only a 10% chance that that will continue uh, beyond the second generation. So the legacy business or the generational businesses or wealth, are, the, the, the odds are so highly stacked against that and that's statistics throughout the world. So when, when you're looking at things and, and uh, you know, my son has no interest in the type of businesses I've got, so, and it's unfair on me to think that he's just gonna naturally just come and take that uh, business over. So the, 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 the reality is 70% of businesses fail from genera first generation to second generation. And uh, uh, you know, even if they do, the 30% that do do well and might even do a bit better than, than what we've done in terms of creating the businesses, first generation have done in creating the businesses, then by the time it gets down to the, 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 the third generation, then by that time these are, if you like, spoiled wee brats that just uh, expect everything and have no interest at all in the old school stuff that uh, granddad uh, or grandmother used to, uh, used to sweat and bleed tears for, uh, they just want the money. So there's a real, again, that's a, a confusion. It sounds good, you know, it's, uh, it lights, you, can, you know, you can feel good you've left the business, the family business and passed it down the generations. But really, that's not what you're looking to do here. You're looking, at, at running a business and starting a business is about creating wealth. What you're looking to create is generational wealth, not necessarily a generational company or a generational business. If you understand money and how money works, you know, creating legacy or generational wealth, you know, selling a business should be part of that plan as an exit to, to if you like, cash in and get the wealth to invest in either other assets or other types of businesses or, or something up to date or current or um, something more, more, more in line with the, the next generation's aspirations as opposed to, um, you know, basically saddling them with something that you've created here that they feel obligated or uh, that, uh, uh, but really have no, no real heart or desire to, uh, certainly not the desire that you had when you were starting the business. So it's a real um, confusion out there I've seen with a lot of sellers who come up with a, you know, oh, it's for the kids, it's for the family. And look, the reality is that's an absolute nonsense. It doesn't work. Sell the business if you can. Create, you know, cash in, get some money off the table, and invest them in some other assets more in line with the aspirations of the next generation. Instead of saddling them with uh, uh, burdening, burdening them to a certain extent with this business that uh, you've created.